The European contribution to the International Space Station comes from 10 members of the European Space Agency and amounts to an 8% share in the program. It consists of a number of modules primarily the Columbus Laboratory in the US segment, ATV supply ships, launchers, software and 8 billion euros. History In the 1980s, ESA devised plans for its own space station called Columbus which could be attached to NASA's space station Freedom. America objected to ESA's using Columbus as building block of a future European space station, and were concerned that they would facilitate the creation of a potential competitor if the manned space outpost fulfilled its promise as supplier of commercially viable products, such as new materials and pharmaceuticals. Plans were scaled down as a result, and by 1988, Europe proposed to participate with three elements, attached pressurized module, man-tended free-flying platform, plus an unmanned polar remote sensing platform. This would be supported by the Ariane 5 rocket and the Hermes spaceplane a mini -space shuttle. However, after German reunification, ESA's budget reductions meant something had to be cancelled. The collapse of the Soviet Union and the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster meant a radical change in plans for a space station. The US and Russia decided to cooperate on an international space station. ESA cancelled much of its space station program to focus on the Columbus module, reconfigured for the ISS. The module was approved in 1995 but delays in station construction meant Columbus would not fly until 2008. Topic modules ESA's largest physical contribution has been the Columbus Laboratory, launched in 2008. It is a flexible and extensive scientific research facility planned to last at least 10 years. Columbus was constructed in Italy by Alcatel Alenia Space with functional architecture and software designed by Airbus in Germany. Unlike other ESA-built modules, Columbus is operated by ESA rather than NASA and is controlled by the Columbus Control Center in Germany. It cost 1.4 billion euros about $2 billion on building Columbus, including the experiments that will fly in it and the ground control infrastructure necessary to operate them. ESA has contributed a further two nodes Harmony and Tranquility which connect modules of the station and had docking ports for visiting ships. They were built by ESA in Italy for NASA and launched in 2007 and 2010. The Italian Space Agency, in addition and independently from its participation to ESA programs, also built the Multipurpose Logistics Module for NASA. Likewise, ESA built the Cupola Module for NASA which is used for observing Canadarm and was launched in 2009. In 2017, the European robotic arm will be launched and attached to the Russian segment. ESA also provides the DMSR data management system designed for the Russian segment of the ISS. It provides control, navigation, mission management, and failure management for the Russian segment and is installed on the module Zvezda. ATV <laughs> ESA developed the Automated Transfer Vehicle ATV as an expendable, unmanned resupply spacecraft to resupply the ISS. It's capable of bringing 6.6 .6 tons of supplies to the ISS and docking automatically. As a pressurized component it stays docked as part of the station for several months and boosts its orbit. It is then filled with waste and burned up in the atmosphere. Five ATVs, Jules Verne, Johannes Kepler, Eduardo Amaldi, Albert Einstein, and Georges Lemaitre have visited the International Space Station. No additional ATVs will be funded. ATV missions are monitored and controlled from the ATV Control Center located at the Toulouse Space Center in Toulouse, France. The center is responsible for all planning and executing of every orbital maneuver and mission task of the ATV, from the moment of separation from its launch vehicle, until it burns up in the Earth's atmosphere. The prime contractor for the ATV is EADS Astrium Space Transportation, leading a consortium of many sub contractors. Development was started in Les Mureaux, France, and moved to Bremen, Germany, as the project moved from its development to production stage of the four initial units starts. In order to facilitate the relationship between the contractor and ESA, an integrated ESA team at the Les Mureaux site has been established for the duration of the development. 
The development cost of the ATV was approximately 1.35 billion euros, and each ATV spacecraft costs about 300 million dollars, not including launch costs. The ATV also participated in an early round of the commercial orbital transportation services. Boeing submitted a proposal in conjunction with Ariane Space to launch the ESA ATV module on a Delta IV rocket. Whereas the ESA launches the ATV on an Ariane 5, the two companies work together to make this proposal. The ATV could carry up to 7.6 metric tons with a suitable launcher. Launchers <laughs> 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 ESA's Ariane 5 acts as one of the launchers for the ISS components. Guiana Space Center provides a launch pad for Ariane and Russian Soyuz rockets. All ATV crafts are launched from Ariane rockets at Guiana. For manned spaceflight ESA crewmembers have been transported on either the Space Shuttle or various versions of the Russian manned launcher. The Russian launcher is designated as an ISS lifeboat, so crews needed to train on if they stayed for long periods. This is why there is two of these three-man craft docked to enable an ISS crew of six, or three when there is one docked. The Space Shuttle was retired in 2011, which creates a human space flight gap for the U.S. until one of three new manned systems being developed come online as early as 2018. The three new spacecraft and launchers are SLS plus Orion and two human-rated launch systems from the Commercial Crew Development Program. Research ELIPS is ESA's space research program on the ISS. Columbus provides ESA's research labs through its 10 payload racks stocked with equipment and external facilities for experiments. ESA-run experiments on the ISS include an ultra-stable atomic clock, an atmosphere space interaction monitor, an eye-tracking experiment and the Matryoshka experiments. NASA's ISS RapidScat was attached to and powered via the Columbus module. Its rotating microwave antenna can be seen in select ISS videos in the period from late 2014 to mid-2016 when that instrument was used. <laughs> Astronauts The first ESA astronaut to board the ISS was Umberto Guidoni on a resupply mission. The first ESA astronaut to stay on board in an expedition was Thomas Ryder in 2006. In 2009, Frank de Wynne became the first European to serve as expedition commander of ISS. In 2016, the next scheduled European astronaut to go ISS was Thomas Pesquet in November 2016. He launched to ISS on November 17, 2016 and started his expedition aboard the station. Participants and costs In contributing to the ISS, ESA only represents 10 of its member states, Belgium, Denmark, France, Germany, Italy, Netherlands, Norway, Spain, Sweden and Switzerland. Austria, Finland, and Ireland chose not to participate, because of lack of interest or concerns about the expense of the project. The United Kingdom withdrew from the preliminary agreement because of concerns about the expense of the project. The other states joined ESA after the agreement had been signed. Non-participating ESA states were allowed access to the ISS for a three-year trial period between 2010 and 2013. The current cost estimates for the ISS are approaching 135 billion euros in total development, construction and 10 years of maintaining the station of which ESA has committed to paying 8 billion euros. About 90% of the costs of ESA's ISS share will be contributed by Germany 41%, France 28% and Italy 20%. One problem with critiques of costs is double billing, for example, one ESA partner in ISS the USA, is reported to have spent about $30 billion on space shuttle flights to ISS, and another $46.7 billion through 2014 for construction costs. However, the shuttle costs are often cricued in regards to that program. Similarly in Europe the budget of space programs is discussed, and science programs, and of course the costs of ISS yet in some cases this clearly a single cost, one science program done on the ISS by an ESA astronaut. 
Topic: Christmas. On Expedition 50 during the Christmas holiday in December 2016, the French astronaut Pesquet shared special French food with the station crew for their dinner. Pesquet also made a Christmas time special video for the ESA. Topic: Centers. ESA's Columbus Control Center at the German Aerospace Center (DLR) in Oberpfaffenhofen, Germany, controls the European Columbus Research Laboratory. ESA's ATV Control Center at the Toulouse Space Center (CST) in Toulouse, France, controls flights of the unmanned European Automated Transfer Vehicle.